Prophecies. There are five ways a prophecy can come to a person. Number one, prophecy can come through the word of God. Prophecy can come through the word of God. You can read a scripture and the spirit of God will illuminate your heart with that scripture. Or you can find something in the word of God and there is a witness in your spirit towards that chapter or that verse. Or you can simply discover the promises of God in His Word. The Bible calls it in 2 Peter 1 verse 19. The Bible calls it a more sure word of prophecy. The Word of God. So prophecy can come from the Word of God. Prophecy can also come from your character. I've said it here before. That your thought will give birth to your words. Your words will give birth to your actions. Your actions will give birth to your habits. Your habits will give birth to your character. And your character predicts your destiny. Is that true? Those of you that follow me very well. So, assuming a kind of lifestyle is already speaking into your future. That's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Your character can be prophecy. So if you want it to be a prophecy that is favorable to you and in line with the word of God, you have to live it. That is the reason why God called Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. He said, for I have made you a father of many nations. So I want you to live with this mentality as a father of many nations. Before you even see it fulfilled, live with that mentality because your character can predict your destiny. The Bible says, He that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be what? Destroyed. Have you seen people who complain a lot? That's already a character. You hardly see anything good around them, you hardly see good news around their life. And they will tell you that their excuse is that they are trying to be logical. Let's be realistic. Continue in your, in your realistic world, as it were. Why did the Bible say, let the weak say, I am strong? Why? Because your character can be prophecy. Number three. Number three way by which prophecy can come, your family. Where you come from is prophecy. <laughs> any limitation or any blessing, as it were, that is entrenched in your family can be a prophecy over your life. That is the reason why, you see, our God is transgenerational in his dealings. That is the pattern you find about God all through scripture. That's why the Bible calls him a covenant keeping God. The God of Abraham, Isaac and God is interested in family. So, anything that has existed in the family if it is a limitation or it is a blessing can be prophecy for you. If it is a limitation, then you have to change it by introducing another prophecy. There's never a time in scripture that God introduced a man to his generation and God did not talk about his family. This is how you always see it. So, so, so person, the son of this, the son of this, the son of this. Why, why is he interested in your ancestry? Why does he talk about your history? Because you can't talk about your future, you can't talk about destiny if you don't understand predestination, where you are coming from. The Bible said, now Jephthah was a mighty man of valor, but he was the son of a harlot. Now Naaman was a mighty man of valor, the commander of the army of Syria, but he was a leper. Prophecy can come from your family. Number four, your enemies too can prophesy over you. You see, why the Bible calls, there, you, the Bible says there are false prophets. Is that not true? So when we say the prophetic prophecy, we are not just talking about the divine alone. 
Satan has soothsayers. He has enchanters. Remember Balaam. Bela called Balaam. He said, come and curse these people for me. He said, I know you. Anything you say will stand. Because Balaam was an unusual kind of prophet. He can tap into divine frequency and pick from God. And he knew the things to do in witchcraft to tap into another spirit. So, you know, he was a business prophet. He looked for gain. So, if God was not speaking to him and people came to him, he would use witchcraft. He was a diviner and at the same time a man of God. That is why holiness and purity is a very strong force if you must do ministry. Once you begin to corrupt your stream, all of a sudden you have legally introduced some spirits into your realm. They will begin to speak to you and you think it's the Holy Ghost. And then finally prophecy can come through your prophet or your man of God. Because God will always send a man in a season to your life as a proof of divine visitation. The blessing will come from God but it must come through a human vessel. The Spirit of God would have descended of Jesus on Jesus any time. But he had to go to be baptized by John the Baptist. And tonight I believe I came as a prophet to somebody. Not to everybody, but just to somebody.